the tamarillo or the tree tomato. Think of a pleasant tasting, different flavored tomato, an intense tangy sharpness, a whisper of a bitter undertone, but looking like a very polished looking tomato. How does one eat the tamarillo? You wash it, you halve it, cutting it crosswise, and you sprinkle a little sugar and simply spoon into the flesh. The skin is unpalatable and not consumed. You can eat it as it is, or like I've done, make a jam and use it as a topping on your puddings on ice cream. I've made a very simple meatloaf and used it as a topping on that. Come, let's eat. I'm going to blanch the tamarillos to remove the skin. I make a small crisscross with a knife on the smooth side of the tamarillo and I'm placing them in boiling water to blanch it for three to five minutes. This helps to loosen the skin. Once softened, just remove it, cool it slightly, gently peel off the skin. The fruit smells like citrus. Halving the tamarillo, these are the seeds. I'm choosing to keep the seeds in my jam as I like the taste and the texture it brings to the jam. I've diced the fruit and I've kept the seeds as well. Take a pan, add 150 grams of sugar, add in the blanched, skinned and diced tamarillos along with one star aniseed, two cloves, a piece of cinnamon and half a teaspoon of fennel Mix that together on a low flame, allowing the sugar to melt. When it begins to boil, gently lower the flame and simmer for 25 minutes. As it simmers, the juices reduce and the texture begins to get thick and gelatinous. After 25 minutes, I add a generous dash of salt, two tablespoons of wine. Optionally, you can use vinegar, even lime juice will do. I'm mixing in a handful of barberries. You can add in raisins, sultanas or cranberry. Reduce the mixture for another 10 minutes. It will thicken into a jam consistency with a little flow to it. Cool, remove it into a container and we are set to enjoy yet another bounty of nature. Please remember and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Come, let's eat.